Good morning. morning. So we just checked out of Galaxy Pods and this is our last day in Singapore. We're gonna go to the Hawker Center now to try and get some breakfast and then we're gonna go check out like this cool tunnel area in Singapore. It's in the park area so we'll see how that goes. So we found a stall that has a really long line and it's called the Hong Sing Handmade Fish Ball and we're gonna try it out. Yeah, it seems like everybody's eating noodles despite the really hot weather so we're gonna have to give it a try and see how it is. There was a stall called Noodle King, I had to try it. Their number one was the fried fish dumpling noodle and we got it dry. It's the best seller. Thank you so much! Thank you! Thank you. Thank you. Wow. I got the fishball kwai teow mean and dry chili sauce too. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Ta -da. What's inside? I think it's fish. Oh. And maybe some daikon. The tip of the wonton is super crispy. Really delicious. All oh, right. Super excited for these noodles. All right, first bite. Oh, it's so soft. I got a little spicy, so it has a little kick. But yeah, it's like a mushroom gravy kind of. I love it. It's delicious. Trying the crispy dumpling now. That's so crispy, so juicy. It's delicious. Uh, this is pork fun noodles and some chili oil. Wow. wow. The chili oil is so fragrant. That looks amazing. Oh, it's a The noodles are super chewy and the chili oil is actually not too spicy, just right. Okay. Apparently the stall does handmade fish balls. Woo! The texture is so springy. That is like jello. Yeah, it doesn't really taste mushy like fish balls that I've had before. Wow. It's very crunchy when you bite into it. So this combo came with a like clear broth and not really sure what it is. Let's give it a try. Oh, it's fish soup. Oh. It tastes really fishy. Really clear. It actually tastes really good cooled down. So from the, the fish balls, it's actually a broth. I'm going to try the broth right now. It's just a hint of fishiness, but it's really tasty. So we went to one Lim Tea stall to get an iced lemon tea because we are getting super hot and we're almost done eating, so it'll be good to refresh before we leave. When you get lemon tea, you have to mush the lemon to get the lemon juice out with your straw. It's a labor of love. <laughs> so refreshing. 
luckily the hawker centers do have a hand washing station so you can freshen up and wash your hands your face before you leave yeah so none of the food stalls give you napkins at hawker center you actually have to have your own napkins but we forgot to bring on <laughs> and uh, did we also notice that the was it the bathrooms oh yeah the bathroom here requires to pay for entry it says a sign like Toilet entry 10 cents. <laughs> There's a lady standing sitting outside. You gotta pay before you use. We're making our way to Fort Canyon Park. There's this cool tunnel thing there that we're gonna check out. We are outside Clark Quay and we're just walking along the riverbank. It's really colorful here. Yeah, it's so cute. The buildings are all different pastel colors. So we actually have to go up those stairs in order to get into Fort Canning Park. Beware of possible lightning strikes and falling branch due to bad weather. So scary. That seems dangerous. This place is huge actually, oh my god. The history of this place. Screeching sounds, it's driving me insane. It's actually escalated in this park. I am actually so surprised. Can you imagine walking up these stairs again? Nah, dude. That's why this is here for people like us. <laughs> This is just on the side of the park and they have those swing things me and Debbie went on yesterday too. Seems like a very popular activity. We are melting, melting, ah melting. We're at this tunnel area. What in the world? Why did we come here? This is so busy. My goodness. Yeah, that's it. It's so you can get the up the upright. Holy smokes. Wow. Okay, so what do you think? Do you wanna do this? No, I don't need do a you picture. Wanna, do you want a picture here? <laughs> wow, it's so busy out here. Actually like I think we can pass on the picture. There's so many people. They're all waiting what? for a photo. Dude, there's literally like, no one in the park and then everyone's at the bottom of the tunnel just like waiting for their turn. <laughs> I don't even know how many hours it's going to take before they get their chance to actually go on it. That's freaking wild. Alright, cool. So we got Coke Zero that Debbie's chugging right now from 7-Eleven. Oh, fizzy. Did I hit the spot? Does it taste different? No, it tastes the same. It's not like pools of sweat all over our body. Yeah. <laughs> It's only us though, like everyone else seems to be fine and handling the weather perfectly. Ooh. That's refreshing! <laughs> wow! This place is amazing. It's a little spooky too. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a workout place. Yeah, it's a workout place. Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Shoulder press. More. More. Get my workout now. <laughs> I think this one's the heaviest. I'll do this one. Go home. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, look how strong she is. That's amazing. I rate this uh, workout place 10 out of 10. Good workout. Damn, that burned a lot of calories. Oh, she got distracted. She wants the water now. Water. 
Oh, I thought that was poo for a second. <laughs> oh, no, I'm scared to drink it. What? Well, there's ants in it. Okay, I'm gonna try it. So I think we found some chicken, wild chicken. I'm scared that they're gonna attack us. Why would they attack? Would they? Probably not, right? Oh my god, hi guys. How y'all doing? <laughs> That's pretty cute. It's a, I don't even know if you're gonna slide down, honestly. Oh god, I'm scared. Is it gonna shoot me up? Yeah, maybe. Don't go face planting. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> Look at her go. Alright, I'm going in too. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm scared. My butt is on fire. I haven't seen a teeter totter in so long. Which one you want to go to? <laughs> I think I'm too big. <laughs> like you're not, you can't even make me go back down. <laughs> I'm controlling everything. <laughs> Literally, I'll be. Okay, I did, I did get off. Of it. How's that? <laughs> we have arrived at the bakery. It's nice and cold and air conditioned in here. There are all these delicious sandwiches and croissants. Wow. Oh my god. I love that. They have a self service station here. We can get ice water and some self serve jams actually. This is the almond chocolate croissant. And this is the green tea croissant. They just heated it up and it smells so good. This thing is covered in almonds, my gosh. Go into oh, is it crispy? It. Oh, it's like cr crispy outside. Oh my god, that looks so tasty. Oh, oh is that like green tea inside? Oh my god, wow. It's green tea, it's all green inside. Wow. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. The outside is so crispy. The moment you bite into it, everything just flakes into your mouth. And then the inside is so soft that like you can really taste the matcha. Oh my god, that is crispy. Super crispy, wow. That is super crispy the sauce. Really fresh. I taste the almonds way more. It's really strong, the taste. It's really good. The almond flavor is like blended into the croissant. That's why it's so delicious. Now I'm gonna try the green tea croissant. Mm, oh my god, the matcha flavor is so strong. I love it, oh my god. Imagine a really tasty croissant, but then there's a matcha explosion after you take a bite. Yo, the sky is like so dark. And it suddenly got so windy. Super windy. You see those trees? They're you freaking see the going. The sky it's like turning darker and darker. Oh my god. We're trying to avoid the thunderstorm. Look at the water. It is insane right now. 
It just started all of a sudden. Oh my god. Honestly, we are a bit wet too. About to run across the water. We are drenched. <laughs> it just started ringing like super quickly. You could feel that it was coming. The wind just started going really quickly all of a sudden. The sky was turning dark. Like, you could see the sky turning dark. Oh my god. And then you could feel a few couple of drops and all of a sudden it's just hitting like super badly. Wow. Yeah, it happened so quickly. <laughs> this is this is nuts. so hard right now the ground is already drying look at these from the rain earlier it's so hot that all the water spots are evaporating arcade at the capital Kempinski oh I found it already it's on the right holy crap wow I love the, how the outside looks So we just got to the holy crap, it's actually inside a mall, it's like air conditioned. From the pictures I thought it was actually outside but they tricked me. I love the way it looks outside. They have giant crab claws pointing out from the side of the restaurant. And it seems like they're fully booked but luckily we got seats. I was excited to try Singapore's signature chili crab. Let's go! Many oh. Oh, wow. That's just for fun. Indulge your cravings, a. Hey. That's what we're getting. The Singapore chili crab, one spice level. Classic national dish. What's up? I want to eat bro. Oh, so the octopus. Oh no, my goodness. Actually, it's called octopus. That is insane. What? I love the naming here. They have so many different variants that you can cook the crab in. Lamborghini. Yo, I love the way they name the things here. Lamborghini. Lamborghini. <laughs> That's so funny. And there's the pop up thing here vegetables. The crab tree in Evelyn. So we ordered the signature chili crab and then we got it with the fried mantel. So I'm so excited to try it. Not really interested in the rest of the stuff on the menu. It's pretty pricey, but I want to go back to the other place to eat more of the other food. So just here for the chili crab basically. Yeah, so apparently after you're, while you're eating the crab, they have the deep fried mantels which is just dip in the sauce as was to go exquisite with it. We will see how that goes. Get that apron and this. What's this? Oh, gloves. For apron, what? To eat the crab. Gloves. Scissors. Scissors. They have the whole set here. Oh my god. That's excited. Guys, the Coke is so tiny and it's just $4. I can't believe this. <laughs> this should be like two. Oh my goodness. Let's get that Coke for it. There we go. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I spilled some of that. Oh that was like God. a dollar gone. Damn. Let's get it. That looks fancy. But it's just Coke. First review. How's that? Refreshing. <laughs> we drank like a liter earlier. Yeah, we did actually. We got it from 7-Eleven. It was like $4. Deep fried mantau with the chili crab. We gotta put on our aprons first. Make sure we don't get it all over ourselves. <laughs> oh my freaking god. their logo on it. I love that. That is so funny. You are ready to eat. It's funny. We're like the only ones here eating this. So it may seem like it was so busy. Ready. Alright, go for it. Oh my god, it's scorching hot. I was trying to eat with only my hands. 
Oh my god. Did I splatter it on my shirt? Oh, these are already broken up. Already. Oh, perfect. So it's already cracked up for you, actually. Just gotta use your hands. Oh my oh goodness, my that is why. Oh it's going on me. That's is that why, why you have the apron on? Yeah, that is why you have the apron. Oh my goodness. Okay, get my sauce. Let's go. Ooh. Damn, let's get it. It's so good. Come on. It's like sweet and spicy. Wow. And the meat. It's a really big bite. Come on. He's so good. Mm. It tastes exactly how it smells. <laughs> yeah, it's so yummy. I like it. I know the secret here. You just use one glove. That's the secret. Right. Oh, it's nice and hot. Let's go. The carb is really meaty. Yeah. That chili sauce though. That's a pretty strong kick for me, I would say, but it's really delicious. It's sweet and spicy. Definitely a classic dish. Wow. Oh my god. Look at this big piece of meat about to come off. That is definitely I'm a big boy. In the sauce. Yeah, get it. Oh my goodness. Drenched. Nice and spicy. I'm not sure what kind of crab this is, but this is very different from the crabs we usually eat. The meat is a lot meatier and bouncier. I don't really know how to describe it. It's definitely like more of a chew to it. I like it a lot better because the other crabs is kind of just like melts in your mouth and falls apart, but this one was like pretty bouncy and like keeps together. So yummy. And that is the culprit. Okay, go try the bun. With a mantel. So it's the wow. deep fried mantel. Oh my god, that looks yeah. so crispy. So you're supposed to dip it into the sauce. Dip it in the sauce. Yeah, that's stretched. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's go. go. Oh my god. That's so good. The outside of the mantel is like nice and crispy. From it being deep fried, inside is like nice and soft, and with the sauce, oh my goodness, the flavors just melt in your mouth. It tastes so good. Mm. I love the crispy layer outside. <laughs> it kind of tastes like a donut or something. Oh, a donut? Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Remi the texture reminds me a little bit of a donut. That's cool. Oh my goodness, it's so good. I can see why this is their signature Singapore dish. It is so delicious. Wow. So do you actually like the crab more or you like the mantel more? The mantel with the sauce. I, I don't know. Something about it. <laughs> <laughs> I could probably eat like 20 of these. Wow. wow. So good. Okay. Oh, wow. It's really crispy and soft. Inside. I'm going to dip it in the sauce. Then. Just yeah. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god! I know what you're talking about now. The mantel, when you think about it, it's deep fried. You think the whole thing's really hard and crispy, but only the top layer of it is actually crispy. It's so delicious. Oh my god! It's soft inside. It has a crunch, and then the chili just kicks in. I love it. I'm addicted too. <laughs> Oh, cheers. Oh, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> so, look how meaty that looks. Look at the camera. Wow! Oh, eh? wow. Oh, wow. oh my god, that's fucking so <laughs> that's meaty. That's so awesome. That is insane. I'm trying to get all of it off so I just have a giant piece of crab meat. I should do that. I love that the restaurant's actually not that busy right now. Yeah. They can be cringe. I debone this giant piece of that meat is from crazy. the claw. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Not as good as Debbie, but there's a pretty big piece too from the claw. So they give you this like toothpick looking thing. 
And I think it's used to get the meat out. So you can like stab in here and get the meat. Come on, tell look at it. Making a Montel crab sandwich. Wow. <laughs> Load up on sauce. Oh my god, how are you gonna eat that? It's like a sandwich. Okay. Mm. Oh my god. I kind of wish I ate it this way. Yeah, every single one, right? Yeah, the outside stays crispy and then the inside is just like all the flavor gushes out. <laughs> mm, so Sounds yummy. delicious. Chili crab sandwich. I love this function. Oh my god. We should have ate every single one like that. Delicious. I'm so thankful to be alive right now and getting to eat this. It's <laughs> so good. It's weird because like despite the whole meal just being the same flavor, it feels like I can just keep eating it non-stop. Usually I feel like I get tired of the same taste over yeah. and over again, yeah, but definitely. this is like, you don't get tired of it. You just, you'll eat it non-stop and you'll keep going and you'll want seconds and you'll want thirds. That's why, you, that's how you know something's really good. Mm. We're happy. <laughs> My friend Fly wants some chili crab. Yeah. It didn't pay, so. It didn't get any. <laughs> Wow, we just finished our meal at Holy Crab. Holy Crab, it was so delicious. Holy Crab, <laughs> oh my god. Definitely the highlight of the Singapore trip. Like, that was the best meal I had this whole time. Yeah, it's the national dish of Singapore, the chili crab. If you guys get a chance to try it, you gotta come here. It's, it's just the flavors is like nothing I've ever had before. Definitely must try. And when I saw it, I thought we weren't gonna be full, but it's... Yeah, you're gonna be full. Yeah, it's really filling. And make sure to get the mantel to eat up all the sauce. Oh my gosh, the mantel was like the highlight for me. It was so good. Make sure to get two orders though. Get ten. We only got five. Yeah, for sure. Yo, check out this Don Duck shirt right here. <laughs> what the heck happened to it? Oh my god. This is an official Disney merchandise. I'm actually surprised. They actually made that. Debbie doesn't want to be in the video right now, so <laughs> it's just me. We're gonna speed run this place because it closes at 10 and we only have a few minutes left. Wow. Amazing, look at that. There's a train going through. What two trains? That's hey. insane. What? We found the blue Jimro, the Jimro frog. We're here right now and I don't even know what we're gonna do to kill all that time. Yo, salted egg. Oh I'm actually I'm down. So look at the size of those monsters there. Oh my god, look at them go. Okay, so it is 10.43. The mall's been closed for 43 minutes now. We were the last customers at KFC and our boy hooked us up. We're really sleepy right now and exhausted. I'm surprised we even got some chicken. Yeah, unfortunately everything was closed. Only KFC was still open, but yeah, they had salted egg yolk chicken. So that's exciting. It's not just regular KFC, so I feel a little bit better about yep. getting KFC. We're gonna try that. <laughs> okay, let's try this salted egg yolk chicken. Let's go. Let's do this. This okay. is salted egg yolk. Welcome to the ghetto reviews. We don't even have a table. They wouldn't let us dine in because they're closing. Yeah, and the food court's closed. Well, so. oh, that smells so good. It smells like salted egg. Oh, hey, he, so much he actually extra. gave us, did he? Oh, what that's just really thing? fat pieces. God he, damn. No, he did give us actually. He gave us extra two pieces. Oh, he gave us two extra pieces? Yeah. I love that guy. He was awesome. The coleslaw? The coleslaw, okay, okay, okay. He kind of threw in like extra two, but you know, I'm down. Oh, that's really hot. I don't know what that that's is. that's the gravy. Careful. 
that's great. Oh, that's so hot. Oh, that's the gravy. It's burning me. Oh no, she touched it. Uh, how do we eat this? I don't know. What the glove? Where's the shopping that's not bag? A glove. Okay, so he gave us a sh a sh like a bag for some reason, and I think we're yeah, I think we're supposed to eat it like that. <laughs> it has a glove. Yeah, like that. Wait, 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 can you help me tie it? What the heck? Tie that and tie it around me. Like okay, hold on. Okay, show everyone your makeshift glove. So we got <laughs> a plastic glove or yep. a plastic bag glove. I would turn it into a glove. Damn, that looks and smells so good. That smells so good. You can really smell the egg yolk in this. Oh my gosh. I think all the yellow flakes are the egg yolk. Let's try it. Let's get it. Mm. That's really good. It tastes like regular KFC, honestly. But this is just like slight hint of salted egg yolk that really adds to it. Okay, well, I guess we're alternating now. Like. This is Debbie's bits and piece. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. So, if you guys ever had the salted egg yolk chips, the fish skin, salted egg yolk fish skin, like Urban's or something, this tastes exactly like it. That initial hit of salted egg yolk, but chicken, crispy, delicious, KFC. Honestly, I wish we had this in uh, North America. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> that looks amazing. Salted egg yolk chicken man. Everyone here is literally stranded, like like us. <laughs> All right, so we finally checked in our yellow bag and we got through immigrations. It was really fast and smooth because it was like automated. They just scanned our passports and we looked at the machine and they confirmed it was us. That's it. Less than like a minute. Really quick. We'll see you in Japan. 